Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about breaking up with your girlfriend here in the Philippines. I got an email just the other day uh, when we came up here to Cebu from Maria. We met Maria two years ago. Uh, we were in uh, Bohol and Maria and her partner George. George was my age. George and Maria had a 30 year age gap. Right now uh, George would be 70 and Maria would be 40. And when they first met George was 55 and Maria was 25. And we met him the first time in Behold when we went to the Cliffside uh, Resort and uh, we had a nice conversation with them. We had a dinner with them and we met them again when we went the following year to Behold and we stayed in touch and George and I would talk on Messenger and uh, email back and forth. Well, I got a surprising uh, message from Maria. But before I get to that message, let's talk about breaking up with your Filipina here in the Philippines. I think it's really hard to break up with a Filipina um, once you move in together and she thinks that you're going to have a long-term relationship with her. And maybe that's not in your plans. Maybe you're not interested in the long term, but you're, you're really interested in having this good-looking Filipina uh, living with you, taking care of you, being part of your life. But she's not wife material. She's not somebody you're going to spend the next 10, 15 years with. How do you break up? And uh, what are your responsibilities to this Filipina? Now, a lot of guys say when you break up with a Filipina, if you leave them better than you found them. And I know that's a little coarse, but if, if you didn't ask them to leave their job and you didn't ask them to, you know, desert their family, uh, you just leave them a little bit better than you found them. You, you leave them with a motorbike. Maybe you bought a motorbike uh, that they could use. You have some money in their bank account. Uh, there's more items that you left them that they had uh, before. And a lot of guys are telling me the easiest time to break up with a girl is when your lease is up. When your lease is finished and you want to move from one residence to another, maybe a totally different island, that's the best time to break up with a girlfriend because if you're not moving, she's always going to know where you're at. And it's very emotional when you break up with a girl here in the Philippines. If she really likes you, it's emotional. She doesn't want to lose you. She definitely doesn't want to lose you to another Filipina. And, and she's really going to do everything in her power to keep you. She's going to uh, make it tough for you to leave. You know, she's going to be argumentative. She's going to be clingy. She's going to be crying. She's going to go through the whole gamut of emotions. And if any of you guys have gone through a breakup like this where you've been with a girl for, you know, a few months, up to a year, and you have a breakup, and you found it hard to do the breakup, it's so emotional. But I think as long as you're honest with a girl from day one that, hey, I don't think we're going to get married, uh, I'm not going to have kids with you, uh, we're having a great time, but I'm going to travel around the islands. As long as you're honest and you can, you can sleep good at night knowing that you didn't deceive her in any way, don't you be the scammer to the Filipina. And, uh, you know, all us guys, we all worry about being scammed by a Filipina being taken advantage by a Filipina, make sure we're not reversing that role and we're the scammer or we're trying to take advantage of the girl. And let's, you know, try to keep a positive outlook on these relationships we have with different girls. But breaking up, breaking up is hard to do, just like the song says. George and Maria. When I talked with George, he met her through email. Now, he was back in the States. And he had a Filipina friend, and, you know, he was after a divorce. And the friend said, hey, I have a sister back in the Philippines that is looking for, she's single and looking for a boyfriend, a relationship. Well, George, you know, he sent her an email. They started communicating back and forth. And he was 55 at the time. He was far away from uh, retiring. So they had a lot of online conversations. They messaged each other, they, they chatted with each other, and they developed a strong bond. And he would come over once a year, came and visited with her. And he really liked her. He liked her very much. So that went on for about nine years. You know, 
until he turned 64. Um, all that time up till he was 64, they were having a great um, long distance relationship. Uh, they were communicating back and forth. She was not a single mom. She had no children. Uh, I don't know if she was married prior or not. I don't know nothing about that sense, but I did know and I did ask her if she had children. She said no, she never had any children. So when he finally reached retirement age at 64, he decided to come on over here. And that was about six years ago. And he came here, he met her, uh, they got a place together and behold, um, he's been running this whole time. You know, he, he's never bought a condo or bought a house or bought a lot, just running. Uh, running a condo, running a house, running an apartment. Whatever he decided he wanted to do, he would go lease to lease. And he always moved. They always moved. Whenever the lease was up, he wanted to try someplace different. But always in Behold, you know, down in the Panglao area, up in uh, Tabularan, and even up in Taliban area. So he got to know the island pretty well. He was very happy with her. They were free to travel. They were free to do a lot of things. But she sent me an email, said, hey, Mike, George left last year. And she was worried about him because he hasn't talked to her. He did not leave her a good contact number. And she wanted me to try to reach out to him and find out how he was doing. You know, he left last year. And she's been waiting for him. When, when he left, their lease was up and he left. Um, he did not really tell her if he was coming back or not. He said he had to go back to the States. She was to go back to her family. And that's a hard thing to do. If a girl's been away from her family for five, six years, and you break up with her and you send her back to the family uh, with nothing, uh, she's going in there with shame. You know, the family's going to say to her, Maria, you couldn't keep the man. You couldn't keep him happy. You couldn't make him happy. You couldn't... Uh, convince him to marry you or be committed to you long term and she had to go back to her family not knowing that he wasn't coming back she went there thinking he's going to come back he's going to come back in a couple months maybe maybe six months he would come back to the philippines and they would continue with their life together uh, they've been happy the whole time they've been together well because she couldn't get hold of him you know she tried to message him on facebook um, and she was blocked and she tried to contact friends of his that she knew of but nobody would reply back to her so she reached out to me and and sent me an email and said mike george left i'm worried about him i don't know if he's sick if he passed away um, is he hiding she had no idea what was going on and she had nothing but uh, fear in her heart that something terrible happened to him. So I sent an email to George. You know, I had his email address. And in the email, I said, hey, George, uh, Maria is trying to contact you, and you're not replying. Uh, I don't know if you're well. Is everything okay? Uh, please respond. Well, just yesterday, I got the reply from him. And he sent an email saying, Mike, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm back here in the States. Uh, I'm not going to say where, but he's back in the States. Um, and he thinks he's going to stay in the States and not come back to the Philippines. Well, my question to George, and we did this over email, like four or five quick emails. Uh, my question, George, was, well, why didn't you tell Maria you weren't going to come back? Why do you have her just sitting here in the dark? wondering if you're still alive, if you're going to be, if you're okay, if, if everything's all right with you. Did she do something wrong? You know, she's really worried about you. She's contacting everybody. And he goes, she's really being a pain, contacting all my friends, contacting my family, looking for me. And, uh, you know, my reply to all that is, you should reply to her. So this email got really old, so we did a video chat this morning, just this morning. And we were talking about this situation, and I go, George, that's a terrible thing to do. You're with somebody for f almost 15 years. 
You were 55 and she was 25 when you first met. You're now 70 and she's 40 and uh, you spent a lot of time together. You spent time traveling. You spent many years just talking online to each other and now you just ghost her. You know, that, that's something women do to guys when they, they scam them. And he goes, he felt really bad about it, but he just didn't know how to break up with her. He said, in the past, there have been conversations when they talked about maybe this relationship's not working out, maybe she should go back to her family, uh, maybe he should move to another island. And he said she always got so emotional. She got so, so drawn in and argumentative and like, what did I do wrong? And sitting in the corner crying and yelling at him about everything she's done for him and, and how she has nothing because she's been spending her whole life with him. And now that she's not a young girl anymore, you know, he's deserting her. And she also throws in there that he, she's worried he's getting too old that she needs to take better care of him, that they need to get a more permanent place to live. And uh, he said, all this was just starting to get to me. To break up with her was, was going to be such a big deal that I just decided when the lease ran up, I told her, go home, go to your folks. I have to go back to the States for a while. And, you know, when I get back, we'll decide what we're going to do. Well, in a cowardly way, and that's how I told him, I thought it was very cowardly what he did, is to just leave her, thinking that he might come back or that he is going to come back. And I think that's the worst way to leave somebody. You guys, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about George and how he handled this. This is a long time together. And I, you know, in this conversation this morning, I go, George, did she rip you off for money? Did she mistreat you? Uh, what did she do wrong for this? And he goes, she really didn't do nothing wrong. It's just I've changed from, you know, a guy that's 55 when I first started talking to her to 64 when I came to the Philippines and had a great life there and an enjoyable life. I was healthy and she was cute and we did a lot of things together and we had a good time. And now that I'm old, and he, he was calling 70 old, and I, I really find that disrespectful because I find 70 not to be that old. You know, maybe it's old to uh, be doing a lot of activities, but man, you still can have a good time at 70. And he goes, I, I'm just, I think I'm going to be more comfortable living in the States. I, I've done my time in the Philippines. I don't like it there that much anymore. So he went back to the States. And I asked them, why didn't you try to get a visa for her if you knew this was the problem? Get her a tourist visa. Get her a K-1 visa. Take her, take her with you. Was she that bad of a companion? And he goes, she wasn't bad. You know, they, they had their ups and downs, but she just wasn't bad. She, she wasn't a user. She wasn't an abuser. But uh, she was very uh, caring. And uh, my knowing the little bit that I knew of Maria when we met, she was very kind and very nice. And I was so disappointed that any foreigner would just split, just leave, and, let, and just ghost their Filipino, not give them contact information, not reply to any emails, not reply to any messages, uh, block them on Facebook, block them on all the social media that he had. Uh, it just didn't seem the right thing to do. Now, me, I think when you break up with a, with a Filipina, it, it is difficult if you've had a good relationship with her, if, if it's more than six months or a year. That first you know, month, two months, six months, a year, there's plenty of opportunity to break up with somebody before you're both overly committed. It's sort of easier to break up. You just have the conversation. You say, hey, things aren't working out. Um, I'm going to leave Behold, and I'm going to go to another island, and I'm sorry it didn't work out give her, you know, some money to get back home. As long as you never made any big promises to her, you know, you didn't inflate uh, the relationship to be more than what it was. And, uh, you know, uh, just being honest and truthful with somebody, if they're not the one forever, just let them know that. And breaking up is tough. I'm going to tell you, a lot of guys 
uh, when they decide they're going to break up with that girl, they get a, a lot of emotion. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of crying, a lot of yelling. Uh, it goes from, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't mean to do what I've done, I, I don't mean to be bad, I don't want you to be mad at me all the time, and to they're angry at you. How could you do this to me? You know, they go from the quiet, crying girl to the yelling witch, man, just yelling at you and cursing you every which way, uh, and all the emotions in between. Because she's going to try to do everything she can to stay with you and to stay um, in a relationship with you. If she can get you to uh, forgive her in her own mind, if she can get you to give her one more chance, well, she's, she's got more opportunity. But if you really need to break up with the girl, I'm going to have to follow a little bit of what Ricky said back in an old video. You need to leave him better than you found him. And that could be... Uh, give them a motorbike, you know, say you buy a motorbike and you're on one island and you're moving, leave the motorbike for them. If there's some furniture you bought or there's some, you know, maybe you bought a TV or, or, or you bought a, a barbecue grill, whatever you bought, just leave it there and let her have it. And give her some money to get home and to get resettled back at home. Plan this breakup if you're going to break up with her. Unless something drastic happened and you need to break up today. You know, that, that's a whole different story. You know, if, if there was some cheating going on or some lying or some stealing, that's a different story. But we're just talking about you're tired of the girl and you want to move on. And to move on is, is hard. And a lot of guys go through these relationships. And if you're cold-blooded, if you're cold-hearted, uh, it's easy. You just walk away. You know, when they wake up in the morning, you're gone. What is that, a Bruce Springsteen song? He said something. He went out for a packet of smokes and he never came back. I don't know how that song went. But you just leave. You go down the road with your backpack. You got your stuff. You get on the ferry and you go to another island and you start all over again. Uh, a lot of guys can do that, but a lot, a lot of guys can't. And the older you get, uh, you need to have a heart. And as a man, when you come to the Philippines, yes, your finances make you the prize. It makes you someone uh, the girl wants to be with because you can support her. You can, you can buy her things she's not used to having. And I'm not talking about diamond rings and cars and all this stuff, but you can afford to keep the refrigerator filled. You can pay rent in a nicer house. Uh, you keep the motorcycle gassed up. Uh, you can pay for trips to other islands, to the waterfalls, or wherever you want to go and visit. But you're the prize. You're, you're the prize. And guys, this is why it's so important not to fall for the very first girl you meet. You know, a lot of guys, as soon as they get off the boat, the first girl they've been talking to, uh, or the first girl that they meet, wherever they settle down at, if they're walking to Isla Mall, the first beautiful girl that comes up and starts talking to them, that might not be the one. Yeah, it's great to meet somebody and do something, but man, give yourself a chance to meet more than one girl in the beginning. You know, you don't want to have uh, an issue where you meet the girl, you, you, you commit to the girl, and then later on you decide, man, there's so many better looking girls. There's so many nicer girls. You know, they're, they're, there's better fish in the ocean than the one that I caught. And I want to throw her back and get another one. Well, if you want to throw her back and go get another girl, you can do that. But just be honest with the girl when you first start dating her. Tell, tell her, hey, I just got here. Yeah, I'd love to date you. I'd love to go out with you. Uh, but I'm not ready to commit. Just be upfront and be honest because, like I said, it's so hard to break up with women here in the Philippines. Once you move them into your home, once you bring them... Uh, into your life. It, it's very difficult. And this situation with George, you know, George, like I said, he was 55 and lonely when he met her. And he was back in the States and a friend said, I have a sister in the Philippines, you know, a Filipino friend that he met. And he started communicating with her. And because he was lonely and because he didn't have no one to talk to that was beautifully. This was a 25-year-old girl he's talking to. He's 55. Yeah, he's going to follow up on that. 
he's going to come to the Philippines and and enjoy a vacation here with a hot chick, you know. And then he's going to go back home and he's going to plan for his next one. And for nine years, communicating, traveling to and from the Philippines, talking to this woman, and she, she being faithful to him for this whole nine years. And then when he turned 64 and he retired, got his Social Security going, he decided to move to the Philippines. They moved in together and they spent almost six years together. And every time I talked to him, uh, he was happy. I talked to him in uh, 2022 is when I first met him. Uh, Janet and I met him again in 2023 when we went on vacation uh, to Panglao. And we communicate from time to time. But I didn't know he went back to the States until I got that email from Maria. And I lost a little bit of respect because of that, but I also understand it. You know, it's a double-edged sword. I don't approve of it, but I understand his side of it, where he just, he just couldn't deal with the emotions involved with breaking up with the Filipina. And uh, it's, it's just a hard thing. These girls are very, very emotional. I'm not talking about the cold-hearted ones that want you for your cash and, and will try to get as much from you as they can. And then when you're done and you leave them, they go on to the next guy. I'm talking about the girl that really cares for you, the girl that has good values and a good set of morals. And just to get up and leave and let them think that you're coming back and then ghosting them. I got so many emails from guys, so many. Hey, Mike, I, I think I've been scammed. Uh, I was coming here on the plane. I arrived at the airport, and the girl doesn't, she doesn't reply to my messages anymore. She's ghosted me. And everybody's up in arms to these girls that ghost them. Well, guys, don't be ghosting a girl you've been having a long-distance relationship with if she hasn't done anything wrong. And if you've been in a physical relationship with her, for a long time. Man, don't ghost her. Don't let her think that maybe you died. Maybe she did something wrong. She's sitting there not knowing what she did wrong. And she has to face this with her family all the time. Family asking, hey, where's George? Where, where's your partner? Where'd he go? And she can't answer. And that just puts her in a bad spot. After 15 years of communicating and living together and having good times together and being together, he got on a plane and left, and he ghosted her. How fair is that to the girl? I don't think it's fair at all. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.